has been uh, quite active in this field for a while. Um, Dr. Koshi uh, Arata from the University of Hokkaido will be speaking on the preparation of superacids by metal oxides and their catalytic action. Thank you, for Mr. Chairman. Uh, I thank the uh, organizing committee to uh, invite me in this symposium. Uh, my talk is about uh, preparation of superacid by metal oxide and their catalytic action. Uh, since uh, this type Since I started this type of uh, job, uh, it has been passed <coughs> more than 15 years ago. 15, 15 years, uh, almost uh, 16 years. The first one uh, was uh, sulfated iron oxide and titanium oxide and zirconium oxide. It was 1979, uh, 16 years ago. So we published we by large title by solid catalyst uh, treated with anion. Uh, it's uh, now part 21. Uh, meanwhile, uh, we prepared superacid by metal oxide. Uh, it's now uh, part eight. The first one was uh, 1988. It was uh, state uh, supported on zirconium. Uh, so uh, let me uh, summarize my 16-year job, the first. Uh, for sulfated uh, metal oxide, we prepared seven kinds of uh, metal oxide. Uh, zirconia, uh, hafnia, tin oxide. These three show very strong uh, acid, acidity. The H0 uh, was uh, less than minus 16. And uh, titanium oxide, aluminum oxide are uh, uh, middle in the strength. Also, uh, iron oxide, uh, silica, uh, uh, not so strong. Anyway, uh, very high hallucination temperature necessary for, for preparation this type of catalyst. Uh, now, for, for metal oxide uh, superacid, uh, tungsten supported on zirconia calcine at very high temperature, 800 degrees centigrade, short H0, uh, short uh, about uh, minus 14 or 16, uh, 15. Tantanium tin oxide, uh, no, no, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, tungsten supported on tin oxide and uh, titanium oxide, iron oxide, have signed at uh, more than 700 degrees centigrade. This 100,000 uh, degrees in centigrade calcination temperature is almost the temperature for preparation of stable materials, uh, ceramics. Uh, anyway, uh, this uh, metal oxide superacid still uh, low in acidity. So uh, we are supposed to prepare uh, the superacid by metal oxide with at least H0 minus 16 or uh, stronger uh, than that. For sulfated metal oxide, uh, property summarized by uh, these seven items, uh, these were <coughs> observed in the, the, the ten, t more than 10 years ago. The first is super acidity is uh, created by absorption of sulfate ion on amorphous metal oxide and calcination in air to convert to the crystalline form. Second, uh, super uh, specific surface areas are very uh, much larger than those of the oxide without sulfate. Especially large increase is uh, observed on the highly active and acidic catalyst. For crystallinity, 
the crystallinity is low in the debris compared with that of oxide without sulfate. Uh, crystallization temperature or phase transformation of the sulfate zirconia or titanium oxide is 150 or 200 degree uh, higher. Uh, and uh, most active catalyst showed uh, tetragonal form for of zirconia adapters for uh, titanium oxide. IR spectroscopy showed a different uh, pattern from usual metal oxide. These four bands were uh, observed when uh, prepared uh, using uh, potassium bromide. Now, XPS showed uh, the sulfated zirconia and iron oxide to be a sulfate with zirconium oxide and iron oxide. Uh, but uh, spectra of the sulfate titanium oxide <coughs> and alumina showed to be a titanium sulfate with titanium oxide and aluminum sulfate with aluminum oxide. IR of pyridine showed uh, Lewis site and Bristol site exist and both sites are really changeable by adsorption of water and desorption. Uh, isomerization, skeletal isomerization of uh, butane is uh, catalyzed by a brainstick acid side. This type of uh, catalyst shows oxidizing action at elevated temperature, uh, especially uh, for uh, iron and tin oxide. Uh, it, uh, those showed oxidation at temperature of about 100 degrees centigrade. And uh, many of the recent publications are more or less uh, very similar to uh, these observations. For uh, superset by metal oxide, uh, superset also uh, created by regulation of tungstate or molybdate of amorphous oxide, followed by calcination or crystallization form. XRD showed 100% tetragonal form for tungsten and molybdate supporting zirconia calcine at 800 mg. Specific surface area also large uh, than that of those of uh, without tungstate uh, or modulating oxide. XPS showed, uh, showed uh, tungsten trioxide <laughs> and the molybdenum trioxide supported from zirconia, uh, titanium oxide, and iron oxide. Uh, now, uh, for uh, characterization, study of characterization of this type of catalyst, we prepare two types of uh, catalyst. One is active catalyst, that is uh, super acid. Uh, zirconia gel impregnated with uh, metatungsty and water dried and calcine at the time of day. Another one is prepared from crystallized zirconium oxide. Zirconia gel Calcine at 700 degree to crystallize nation form and impregnate with tungstate final calcite at 800 degree centigrade. Activity <coughs> is quite remarkable. The conversion for uh, free day plus acidation, now tarrying with acid and hydride. So 72%. Another one is zero, and also reaction pentane is also shown uh, quite different uh, activity. Let's look at the color of uh, catalyst. Uh, 
this color copy is not so good, but as you know, uh, zirconia ox zirconium oxide is white in color. You see, this is white. This A is a uh, super acid cut, uh, prepared from uh, ammonia zirconium oxide. See, this is color, this is white, purely white in color. Now, uh, sample prepared from uh, crystallized uh, sample. You see, the, this sample is the yellow, quite close to uh, from tang uh, tungsten trioxide. So tungsten supposed to be uh, gathered together. This is XRD spectra. Uh, you see, the, this spectra shows the, that of uh, superset, active superset. There's tetragonal form, and uh, no uh, peak around this area to show uh, tungsten trioxide. For a uh, sample prepare from Crystallized zirconium oxide, and spectra quite different, uh, monoclinic form with uh, large peak of uh, tri uh, tungsten oxide. Now, when this uh, active catalyst calcines at southern debris disintegrate, this gets inactive. Spectra is quite similar to this inactive one. Then we, we try to compare spectral difference between two samples. Between two samples. Uh, examination of uh, spectral difference between active and inactive sample. But no difference observed in expensive XPS drama and exams. But only one uh, instrument showed difference. It was a very cheap 15 IR. <laughs> I show you uh, difference. You see, the difference can be seen around here. But this peak based on uh, adsorbed water. So uh, from this observation, determination of the surface structure of tungsten supported zirconium oxide must be uh, difficult. Basically, this uh, structure must be the uh, same as sulfated zirconium oxide. So, characterization of sulfated zirconia is all must be uh, difficult. Recently, uh, many paper uh, published about this type of catalyst and uh, several structure picture, structure picture uh, shown. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, <coughs> not here by Professor Tanabe's structure. Uh, accident. These <laughs> 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 are uh, sample. So uh, this type of uh, discussion will continue for a while. So uh, fortunately or safely, I um, uh, I. We uh, continued preparation of new and uh, better, uh, more active uh, samples. In this morning, uh, uh, it was shown by uh, addition a small amount of platinum. My addition of platinum is a large amount. It sound uh, stupid or ridiculous. But anyway, uh, large amount, 
additional large amount of platinum uh, gives large effect for reaction of butene. Conversion of uh, butene increased by uh, quantity of platinum. Seven or eight percent addition the highest. This is uh, this catalyst two uh, active for reaction of uh, butene. The contact time quite short. This is uh, XRD spectra of 7.5% doped sulfated zirconia. A is platinum doped zirconia without sulfation. Of course, this is not active for reaction of butene. Activity for butene, for butene is zero. But you see, uh, uh, affinity of platinum with zirconium oxide is quite good. That's uh, surprising. Uh, no uh, metallic uh, platinum seen in this spectrum. B, C, D are uh, uh, platinum doped with uh, sulfated uh, zirconium. These three were prepared by different methods of preparation, different methods. And uh, we regulated conversion of beauty 60, 12, 6 percent in the film activity. See? Then we uh, examined XPS of platinum. Uh, for A, uh, no uh, peak showing metallic platinum is seen. See, the conversion is zero. So, uh, and uh, B, C, you see uh, peak showing platinum metal seen. Especially uh, for C, this peak is very large. From these uh, data, uh, <coughs> when uh, metallic platinum is small, activity is higher. So we think uh, platinum must be uh, must be uh, <coughs> cationic state with zirconium oxide, not in the metallic state. Then we change to preparation of iron oxide supported zirconia. Uh, the catalyst was prepared by impregnation of zirconia gel with iron nitrate solution. Uh, iron uh, quantity is 28 percent based on the gel. Uh, 28 percent iron is equivalent to 7.5 percent platinum. Then, uh, after water was evaporated, it was dried at 300 degrees centigrade. Then, exposed to uh, one normal sufficient acid, final calcine. This time, this catalyst is remarkable uh, conversion for, uh, for reaction of butane increased by hallucination period. Uh, this reaction performed at 60 degrees centigrade, uh, quite low temperature. After uh, calcination for uh, 24 hours, uh, activity uh, was almost steady. 
And this time, 700 degree was the uh, uh, highest temperature, highest uh, for, for activity. See, the uh, calcination 700 degree was best. Uh, this square circle shows uh, the case uh, with the calcination at 725 degree. Now, uh, one of the most important thing is the quantity of sulfur. Quantity of sulfur quite small. A sample showed only 0 0.39 weight percent. Usually, sulfated zirconia uh, uh, contain uh, more than one or two percent sulfur. B shows 0.31. C still quite uh, active. This this only 0 0.28 percent. So 0 0.2 or 0 0.3 percent almost uh, contamination in usual uh, commercial region. And black salt shows the case when uh, prepared by uh, opposite method. Zirconia gel was impregnated with sulfuric acid. After that, iron was impregnated and uh, calcined at the same temperature. This time, activity quite low. This is activity of iron supported zirconia calcine at various temperature for 24 hours for reaction of butane at 60 degree. Uh, conversion and quantity of sulfur uh, surface area as shown. Uh, as you know, as you see, the uh, conversion. Uh, this time, product only isobutene. <coughs> conversion and quantity of sulfur and surface area are not proportional each other. Uh, for sulfated zirconia, uh, this reaction condition was severe for reaction with butane, so the conversion was zero. Uh, this catalyst contains 1.27% of sulfur. Let me, uh, uh, for XPS uh, spectra of this catalyst, sulfur should uh, be quite close to iron oxide. Now, uh, remaining sulfur should uh, close to that of sulfate, the metal sulfate. Uh, must be, uh, I think, uh, iron sulfate state. Now let me compare uh, how strong this catalyst. Uh, this catalyst uh, colored, so we could not measure uh, by using uh, Hamilton indicator. Uh, we compared by reaction temperature. In this case, it's reaction temperature. And you see the reaction at low temperature is more active. We compared with sulfate zirconia uh, with H0 minus 16 and minus 14 to 5, which were determined by Hamilton. Uh, these two lines uh, by these two catalysts. And H0 uh, difference is 1.5. Temperature difference is 34 degree. So this 89, 89 uh, degree almost uh, corresponds to this 
the minus trade. And by uh, Professor George, your uh, uh, magic classes start from minus 12 to 20, minus 20 to 25. So uh, this is almost uh, so, uh, magic asset here. Uh, I hope uh, solid magic asset in CCSI. The conclusion is as follows. Uh, active sites are created by interaction of iron with the both Why? Chemical reactions such as oxidation and or reduction occurs during calcination by sulfur or oxide, dioxide or trioxide by decomposition of surface species. Now, the opposite procedure was growing activity. The first interrelation with sulfuric acid followed by second one with uh, iron nitrate. Uh, the, the reason is a difficult combination of iron onto the support because of precedently strong interaction of sulfate with uh, zirconium oxide. I want to uh, expel uh, sulfur from this type of uh, catalyst. So, um, for me, uh, this is uh, good news. That's all. Thank you. Very much. In the interest of time, since we're on a break, if you have a question for Professor Raga, why don't you ask him during the break? And then we will resume at 3.40. Please come back. I think you'll find the last three papers to be very interesting.